This is a 2007 Extreme Duty. Changing the plugs due to reed failure. The uh, impeller was so worn. This guy, Neil Peterson, says I was over revving cracked reeds, sucked them through the exhaust or the intake. Anyways, who the hell puts stainless steel reeds in a motor? This all comes apart really easy. And uh, yeah, you just buy Boisins from Outlaw Marine. Shipping included, gasket included, $303 Canadian. This side's really easy. Especially if you pull the motor. I'm just kidding. This side, a little tricky. Just a little tricky. So, what you do is you move this wire out of the way a little bit. Don't take it all apart. Not this wire. That one, not that wire. There's that one connector down there. You can see. Maybe not. You take this off. This thing. Don't lose it. You lose it, you're like I did, you're scrambling and try to find it. And then right at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that six, right down there. It's easiest if you take this off. That's, uh, looks like it must be like an overdrain or something. Comes off way down at the bottom, that brass fitting. Oh, to start off with, Where's that hose? This here. This hose here. You can't get to the plug without taking that off. And it comes off. Gee, I tuck these back out of the way to work. It comes off right there. Yeah, so don't forget to put that back on. I suppose that's just pump water all over the place. Yeah. Other than that, my buddy says, yeah, it'll work from the back. And that did work good for the top number two. But, uh, yeah, I can reach from here, so. Anyways, tuck those back out of the way. I'm just on the last plug at the bottom. I don't even know if I had to undo that, that wire. Last plug at the bottom where that number six is. And uh, yeah, that was probably the trickiest one. But yeah, like just take that one hose out. You gotta go right up from under here was the easiest. Like up, you gotta go through here. You put the socket on from above, but there's two lines. Two lines right here, and uh, I had to pull them over. You can feel they're, I don't know if they're hydraulic. Can't be hydraulic, but they're like a hydraulic fitting, it feels like, and they do swivel. So that's the only way to get at that plug. Just pull them over, like pull them this, this way, this way. Pull them this way a bit. So yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, like it just fits, just fits, just, you can just get it on there. Oh, of course you can't see that. There's that. 
Oops. I don't know if you can see that. Right there? Just fits on there. And like I said, I think it was number two cylinder. Uh, popping. Just totally fouled. I used the mirror to see if I could see in. We only find out if the, there's damage to the motor. I'm not pre I'm not doing a compression test. I'm gonna put it all together. Either it's got to be fixed or it doesn't need to be fixed. Put it on the river, run it. If it doesn't run good. Pull the motor. Sell it. Okay. Well. Anyways, enough is enough. Gotta get back to work.